Let's have a look at the Prussian troops. In front of the forest are two battalions of Brunswick's. The Prussian guns are on the high ground above the guard troops and that is where the ammunition train that has just come off the bridge is set up as well. The rest of the Prussian forces are spread out and down along the river to the village. Now we'll have a look at the French forces. We're going to be looking at it from the French right flank to the left flank. Light cavalry out on the right flank, infantry across the front, that's the 21st Regiment. Two howitzers are next, and beside them is the 22nd Line Regiment in column formation, all three battalions, with the light troops out on the left flank. Behind them in reserve are Dragoons and Carissias. And then uh, the uh, ammunition train guarded by the National Guard of Paris. Welcome back. It's been a while between battles and I can't even blame the COVID-19 as that kept me at home and I should have had heaps of time to make uh, videos but the truth is I've had a couple of personal issues which have kept me out of action but here I am back and today's battle the French are going to attack the, the Prussians now. Uh, we'll be showing the French commander's view from ground level same as I did in the game before and uh, Previously to this, you've seen the um, positions that the Prussians and French have set up in. Now, at the end of this introductory uh, speech of mine, I'm going to show you a map. And on that map, I want you to see the two red arrows. This is the French plan of attack. They've perceived a weakness in the Prussian disposition. The Prussians have set their artillery and their baggage train up against the forest as they came in over the bridge. The French intended to do a short, sharp charge in column with the 22nd Line Regiment and the Light Battalion. Smash into the Brunswick troops on the Prussian right flank and get to the forest where the Light troops will deploy into the forest and around onto the flank of the Prussian artillery and their baggage train, hopefully taking the baggage train and ending the battle. Short, sharp, and probably quite bloody. So, let's see how that all pans out, and um, thank you for watching. Looking at the map from the Prussian side, but you can see the French have the arrows where they're to attack. That's been shown to the commander of the 22nd French Line Regiment. That is his task with the light troops. Everyone else will hold their position to hold the Prussians in their positions. End of the first move and the French lights have already sprung into action. The French 22nd is advancing in columns 
Oops, and there's a French howitzer that has already been destroyed by the Prussian field artillery. The howitzers are concentrating on the Prussian light troops in the paddock there. A view from the French commander's position. You can just see his troops going forward. That's about uh, all at the moment. End of move number two, and the French light troops have made it into the forest. The 22nd line regiment is advancing in column. They've thrown out their skirmishes to keep the Brunswick troops' attention. The French howitzers are concentrating on the Jaegers in the paddock, and the Prussian uh, field artillery is doing counter battery with the French howitzers. End of move number three, and the French attack columns have hit the 1st Battalion of Brunswick Infantry. Meanwhile, the artillery, the howitzers are concentrating on the lights in the paddock, and the Prussian field guns are concentrating on the uh, howitzers. The French light troops are moving through the forest up the hill towards the Prussian guns. Meanwhile, the French commander from his position can just see his troops contacting the enemy at this point. End of move number four, and you can see that the French columns have routed the second battalion of uh, Brunswick's. The light troops have made it up the hill to the edge of the forest and are firing at and have killed the cannon crew of the first Prussian gun there. The right column of the attack, three casualties taken from the uh, light uh, troops, the Jaegers, is in retreat. End of move number five, and the Prussian guard are attacking one of the uh, French columns. Meanwhile, in the forest, the light, French light troops have moved out and shot up the crew of the third field gun. The middle field gun is in retreat down the hill, and you can see the commander has ordered the Ulans ready to charge up the hill. The Prussian guard, after seeing off one of the French attack columns, has turned and is firing, firing with the French in the forest. Meanwhile, the light troops are being attacked by the Ulans who are charging up the hill. The French howitzer continues to target the Prussian light troops in the paddock. The Prussian guard have taken many casualties and are now in retreat. Meanwhile, on top of the hill, the French lights have stopped the Ulan attack at great cost to the Ulans and they're now in retreat. The battle is won as there are no other troops who can come and reverse this situation before the ammunition train is destroyed. The Prussian guns have fallen silent. This must be the moment of success. The French commander's troops he knows have taken their objective and the Prussians have been beaten. Okay, so there it was, a short, sharp game, about six moves, I believe. And how did it all pan out? Well, the French commander saw a perceived weakness in so, insofar as the Prussians uh, were butted up against a forest. So he decided to attack quickly across that uh, area with the 22nd line regiment made up of three battalions. They did, they encountered the um, battalions, 1st and 2nd battalions of the Brunswicks, and as they approached, and I hope you saw this, the battalions sent out their own skirmishes in front to occupy the um, Brunswicks till the, battal till the attack columns got closer, and then the lights melted back into the columns and went in to the attack. They destroyed the Brunswick 1st battalion, went on and took out the Brunswick 2nd battalion. 
In the three attack columns, the right hand one was peppered by the uh, Jaegers, the Prussian Jaegers in the paddock, and eventually broke and fled. The Prussian guard formed in the column and attacked in and took out the middle attack column. By that stage, the third or left hand side attack column had made it into the forest, turned and through the forest fired out and did great execution to the Prussian guard who retreated. Meanwhile, protected by the attack columns, the battalion of French lights in quick order went through the forest and came out opposite the Prussian guns, shooting the crew of the first one. The middle gun, seeing its fate, packed up and went down the hill to safety. So the French lights shot the crew of the third gun and took possession of the ammunition train, so giving the French the victory for, to, for the day. The Prussian commander, to try and save the day, sent the, his Ulans, the nearest body of cavalry, up the hill, but they were shot to pieces by the French lights. So, um, during the battle, the Prussian artillery did counter battery on the two French howitzers, knocking one out, destroying one, and killing a lot of the crew of the second, but not putting it out of action. The French, who normally do counter battery, concentrated on the Prussian lights in the paddock, and the reason for that is they saw them as the greatest threat to their own lights in the forest if they decided to um, leave the paddock and go to attack them. So they concentrated their fire, and by the end of the game, had reduced these um, Prussian lights to almost a morale breaking level. And really, um, the Prussians couldn't get any more support up the hill in time, and that's one of the key things as the units were spread out. And uh, so the game was, or the battle was lost to them. Now from the French commander's viewpoint, um, Watching the videos, you'll, you'll not see very much. Uh, he had a unit, a line, a battalion in front of him. He could see his three attack columns go across. There was firing, they kept going, they disappeared into the forest. Some men came streaming back. So that's all a bit worrying what's happening next. And then the Prussian cannon falls silent. And that's the key to it. He knows then that his plan has worked. And that's the end of the battle. And a messenger comes back to inform him that the Prussians are beaten. Alrighty. So short, sharp. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, keep subscribing and watching. And um, I've got uh, something a little bit special planned for the future. But uh, we'll save that for now. And um, okay, okay. Thanks for watching and bye for now.